talk about something. Yeah, let's do this. So, <laughs> so I'm here with award-winning filmmaker uh, Patrick Shen, founder of Transcendental Media, um, also the director of the new documentary short, The Dawn Chorus. And uh, Patrick, it's good to, to see you. I know one of the last times you attended the festival was, I think, 2017. You were here with uh, In Pursuit of Silence, which I highly mm -hmm. recommend for people to see. Um, and it's great to have you back to the festival kind of via this uh, new virtual space uh, that we're working from. And I'm, I'm really looking forward to talking about the Dawn Chorus. Um, so the project itself, basically, you, you involve 36 filmmakers, including myself. And, and I, I love being a part of this. Um, you also had filmmakers from other countries, um, Cambodia, Italy, Armenia, uh, and you asked us to shoot footage um, of the morning light, the dawn, on May the 3rd of this past year. Um, and then you took that, you created this incredibly thoughtful film. Um, so start us off by explaining the concept uh, behind the film and, uh, and how you put all this together. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah, thanks for having me, and it's good to see your face, Brad. Um, so the dawn course kind of grew out of a desire simply to to respond to the moment that we were in. We were about a month in or so of uh, the lockdown orders uh, for me here in California. It had been about a month, I think. And all my production work had come to a halt. And so there's sort of like restlessness sort of stirring up um, and a desire to kind of speak into the moment, desire to respond in, in a way. And I thought, how cool would it be to, to involve other people? A lot of people were kind of starting to think of ideas uh, about how to get around the lockdown and the travel restrictions and collaborate with filmmakers around the world. I do these filmmaking workshops from time to time in different countries and have developed a, a network of filmmakers uh, in, in, in countries around the world. And, and so I thought this is a perfect time to kind of get back in touch with some of those and see if we can get a a diverse group of filmmakers from around the world to, to capture the first light and sounds of, of May 3rd. And in the end, yeah, we got 36 filmmakers in 13 countries to contribute. You know, my own experience uh, doing this, I know people close to me, um, will acknowledge I'm not a morning person. I, uh, this was, you know, a shoot where I woke up at, at 3 a.m. and I didn't have to go too far uh, out, of, out of the house. I, I went a couple steps, set up my camera uh, on the balcony. Um, but you also shot footage. Uh, you had a little bit more of a hike. Talk about your, your experience that morning, because for myself, it was just, it was a wonderful chance just to stop, observe, listen. And like you said, we were in the same uh, situation where we had been at home for about a month. Um, and, you know, we were beginning to wake up to different sounds. We um, typically would wake up to car horns, sirens, uh, traffic. And instead, during that month, you know, we were hearing birds chirping. Uh, and, and so for this particular project, um, it was just a wonderful experience and observation and, and appreciation, things that um, typically, you know, in our, in our lives, uh, in our busy lives, we aren't able to appreciate. So talk about your own experience, uh, that morning while you were capturing, uh, that footage, great footage, by the way, you had a great vantage point, uh, outside of LA. Yeah. Thanks. I had identified this spot not too far from a friend's house who lives in the mountains. Um, but it took, you know, I don't know, it was like a 30 to 45 minute hike with all my gear on my back. And I had been on lockdown for a month. And prior to that, I was out of shape anyway. And so the whole ordeal was uh, a, a little rough getting to the spot. But once, once I hiked up into the mountains uh, and found my spot, I settled in. And, and like yourself, I, I spent a good four or five hours there just sort of letting the moment sink in. And there was a little bit of the kind of hustle and, 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 and urgency of kind of making sure the cameras were set up. I had multiple cameras going. But, uh, you know, it was just nice to be able to let the camera roll and, and um, have a sort of direct engagement with what I was capturing. It's such a rare experience, I think, for filmmakers um, who are so immersed in the sort of technical capturing of something um, that they often kind of miss that direct engagement, you know. And so it was nice. It was, it was a really meaningful experience for me. 
<laughs> so Patrick, as the editor, um, also, you know, moving into the editing room, um, this is such a meditative, thoughtful film. What was your approach weaving all of this footage together? Because I know, you know, we had talked that you, you didn't want this to be just a highlight reel of beautiful images uh, of the sunrise. So, so talk a little more about your approach going into editing. I think it was, it was important to have this film not be kind of just a summary of something that happened or just a representation of something that happened, but rather be this embodied experience of witnessing the dawn, which so few of us have an opportunity to do. And so it was important that the editing kind of mimicked the rhythms and the pacing of an experience like that. The film isn't, you know, three hours long or whatever, but it, it, it mimics that on some level. Um, and those were, I had very specific instructions for the contributors, like you got to shoot at least three to five minute shots or something along those lines to make sure that we have room to play with in the, in the edit. Um, so I knew there'd be these long durational shots. And the other thing I thought about was more kind of on the, I guess, thematic metaphorical side. And that is um, this idea of, of rebirth um, throughout, you know, historically the, the dawn has represented uh, or symbolized rebirth, right? Uh, an awakening to the future of some sort. And I feel like that in large part, at least among the circles of, of friends and artists that I, that I have, a sentiment that we kind of all were, were feeling. Um, we wanted to kind of speak to that moment, speak to this idea of, of rebirth um, amidst crisis. This was a great experience, Patrick. I appreciated being a part of it. Um, we're excited uh, about the release. Uh, the film, again, is The Dawn Chorus. Uh, it's being released Thursday, June 16th. Uh, we will be posting information on our website, dceff.org. Patrick Shen, thanks for your time and great to catch up. Thanks, man. Appreciate it.